Now, the wife of Ikeda State Governor B.C. Faimi and other rights activists have blamed the lack of access to justice as a major cause to the increase or increase of cases of sexual harassment in tertiary institutions. The Ikeda State First Lady during the launch of an application to help victims report cases of harassment says it is important to create a platform that allows victims to report cases without being victimized. She, however, called on authorities of tertiary institutions to strengthen policies that speak against sexual harassment. It is important for all tertiary institutions to adopt a zero tolerance approach to all forms of gender-based violence and promote a healthy culture in the institutions devoid of fear and intimidation. Students must feel safe on campus and victims have a right to be heard and not to be intimidated or shamed into silence. The issue of sexual harassment has to do with imbalanced power relations. And of course, when you look at you know, the statutory obligation of the ICPC, they are statutorily mandated to check institutions on abuse of power. And to the best of our knowledge, sexual harassment is the worst form of gender-based corruption in the environment of learning. We can, you know, together create an environment of learning where the fight against sexual harassment will not be a natural, will not be a daily struggle, but a natural part of our actions. There's little incentive for survivors, particularly women and girls, to report their experiences with sexual harassment. Because, you know, as you know, nobody wants to be the poster child for sexual harassment, but they're exposing that person's vulnerability to abuse and exploitation. And we have an unforgiving cancel culture, uh, which double, doubly victimizes the victim or the survivor, as the case may be. We must learn to be on the, on the, on the side of the survivor. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.